So when it comes to the nexus letter, again, there are certain things that have to be in there to be successful, right? So we have four key elements and we'll show you also what those things are when we begin to look at um, uh, the sample letters that we have too. And those are also in your book. So kind of seeing it this way will help make sense. So when we actually see um, the uh, sample ones, it'll kind of start all coming together. So the first thing we're looking at here, obviously, is review of pertinent records, medical records uh, for said claim. So this is one of the first parts here to a letter, whether you're requesting someone to write it or you are paying someone who's going to write you one, right? One of the first blocks here is the review of, med of a veteran's pertinent medical records. It might seem very simple, but if this line is not part of the letter, you're pretty much already up blank creek to a degree. Because how can I write a letter for Ron without having reviewed his medical records or service records? And granted, if his service records are lacking certain things, that's one thing. But if I don't make mention that I've reviewed his medical record, as simple as it sounds, well, guess what? How can I make an opinion on something? So, again, I'm now the doctor writing the letter for Ronnie. I have to make sure said letter has key language in it. 